you could go back 10 years ago or whatever and do it all again, would you? Are you kidding? It didn't matter what choices we made. We would have ended up right here on this bed, sitting next to each other in prison. Doomed to be together. <laughs> exactly. Okay, animals, back to your cages. beginning when Netflix said you know we'll do a whole season on the air we didn't care where it was it was just <laughs> like full budget no pilot we're in and Netflix was this new entity a lot of the actors in the beginning were saying oh we're doing a web series who's gonna find it yeah, how are yeah, they yeah. gonna know I didn't even know it was a real show my Netflix. mom was mad she had to pay seven dollars you're welcome you're Netflix. welcome you know what we just, just have to you know what just you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> see that's funny where we started season one, just in terms of the prison and industrial complex, yeah. it was the people that we were looking into, and over time, we've really expanded. We don't have the answers to how to fix the prison industrial complex or how to solve crime in America, whatever it is, but we want to start the discussions. You wanna know what prison is like? It's hard, but I got people in there. I got nobody out here. Orange has become this really great voice for people, and anything that raises awareness of any kind is so wonderful to be a part of. And that's what Orange has done, given us platforms that we could be more involved in the judicial system, incarceration system, in the immigration system. It's evolved in, in a way that, I don't know, it speaks to the world. You go anywhere and people stop you and just relate to somebody in the show. I'm still trying to figure out why it happened, why I did what I did. This show has absolutely nothing to do with women in prison. This is a story about people and their lives. This piece of writing is obscene. It's pornographic. No, it's not just sex. It's love. It's two people connecting with four other people and aliens. The thing that Genji did from the get-go was the LGBTQ relationships in the show. They just were treated as love stories, like any other love story. In 2013, there was something really groundbreaking about Sophia. If Genji wanted to actually hire a trans person to play a trans character is a really big deal. Now you want some real advice? From my second mom or my used to be dad. From former man to current man. I thought the show was really shifting into something greater. We were talking about real issues that were happening in America. <laughs> And it's not only about Black Lives Matter, but when it comes to ICE, immigration, Genji, she's on it. She's like, okay, let's talk about it. Oh my, oh God. my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Excuse me, do not touch the inmate, immigrant. Nobody does that on television. Very Genji Cohen. And quintessentially Orange is the New Black. It's a little cold out for a margarita, don't you think? Who are you? My name is Alex. What do you do, Alex? I work for an international drug cartel. <laughs> oh my god. This is, I can't even. This, oh, they put a fish tattoo on for the audition. I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> That's crazy. That was in the making right there. Look. <laughs> uh, What's your name? Your, your last name? Y'all use last name? There's something wrong with that. There is not. Feeling some sapphic vibes coming off you. There's nothing wrong with that. It's time to get serious, all right? Come on. Oh, look at you. I also, that might, you know, with my Irishness, that might have been a nice little spray tan. <laughs>
<laughs> Which I don't really do anymore. The 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 pale. Yeah, these I've, days. I've, I've embraced never seen I've that. embraced the pale. You're my daughter, and I need to make sure that nothing happens to you in here. It's like Gloria saying a lady's line. Yeah, oh, know, but it's still Gloria. Selenis, you look so beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, I don't know why. Way. Don't taught me nothing to you. But I look the same. Don't you think? Oh, yes. exactly. No, 100% yes. the same. 100%. And the jacket is identical. Wait, this is your Cena Caputo's office, isn't it? Yeah, how do you, yeah. How do you remember all I have these a crazy scenes? memory. I look great. It's great summertime. I look like I've been exercising. <laughs> My skin is clear. Glowing. Oh, I'll be out in a sec, I swear. Mm -hmm. I'll wait. The best be some hot water, Lynn. The first scene, as you see, was a shower scene, so I was nervous I was gonna have to take off my clothes. You got them TV titties. They stand up on their own, all perky and everything. I went to Juilliard, and I went to one of the, the faculty there, and I was like, should I take this job? I don't want to start my career off like this. Titties you know, out. titties out. Like, this is not a good look. And she was like, girl, take the damn job. How much time they give each other? 15 months. Oh, 15 months, that's not so bad. I got 34. I feel like this show opened up a conversation about women that we're not used to seeing on television. <laughs> We find females highly entertaining and also just characters. Had characters. Yeah. yeah. These people fell into a category that was dismissed and needed to be seen. I actually remember calling my manager to tell her I wanted no more auditions. This constant rejection and the hope. I was a single mom. I had negative in my account. So when I see that person, it was someone who had been in this business for 20 years and who always got very close and not being booked. Look, Papa's been looking for that chicken, and it's not real. It's like a fairy tale. Genji Cohen changed my life because she allowed me to play. I thank you and everything, but I've been taking care of myself for a pretty long time. When you really love something and you get the opportunity to do it, you know. It just gives you the sense of freedom. That audition changed my life. I needed a job so bad. You like Pussy Piper. And you prefer Pipe as your name suggests. I was already heartbroken before I started because I was like, I'm never gonna get I this and I really it. want it. Well, that's what they were looking for. Yeah, yeah they were looking for a broken person. And they so found one! Yeah. Often um, people would come in on audition for one part and they just weren't quite right, but, but we'd we would remember the and fall in love with the performance. Yeah. Just a great pool of talent that hadn't been used the way it should be. Look. This dress cost $3,800. I was watching my bank account go like this, and I was watching the number of auditions going like this. With Uzo, she had tried out for Janae, and I didn't think it was right, but I remember calling Jen and saying, she's gonna be in the show. I don't know what it mm -hmm. is yet, but just tell her she has a job on the show. I wrote a poem, you wanna hear? You know, that's fine. It's... Before I met you, the sun was like a yellow grape. You gonna slide on back in here. Uh, uh, no, no. How did I get it? No, That's the no, sign no, that it doesn't no, matter no, no. what happens. If you're yeah. right for the part, you Correct. are going to get it. And Correct. she cued it. Cindy, right? The pants. I have something hidden in one of the electrical sockets. I'd be very grateful if you could retrieve it for me. <laughs> Bitch! If grateful paid the bills, we'd all be Bill Gates. So many amazing moments. Many yeah. epic moments. Many, so many. One scene that stood out. <gasps> the lake was the most beautiful. Let's just be free for a second. Everyone has their own moments. The one that meant the most to me is when Cindy converts to Judaism. That day, it took such an effect on me in reliving my spiritual walk as a person, as an actor, and then as a character. It had so many layers that carried through. Ozatop. <laughs> I threw my pie for you. Yeah. I will cut you, bitch! Don't make me cut you! Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm not your wife. I threw my pie for you. Lesbian request denied. Warren just informed me that you'd like to be bumped together. Lesbian request denied. The elusive chicken, gorgeously written, sublimely executed scene that resonated for me on every conceivable level. There is no chicken. You're wrong. She saw it. Oh, really? It was her. I saw it in a dream. Goodbye. She came to me already dressed in herbs, and a little top hat, black, tilted to one side. And she said, soon, Red, we will be together. 
Soon I will be yours. Real chicken kid. <gasps> it was self-defense. I'm bored. What's the plan? I am not cutting up a body. It was the middle of summer. We are in this greenhouse chopping up a body. We had sweat just dripping off of us, blood being squirted up on our face. It was so much fun. What was your memorable moment? When I made out with her it was my favorite. <laughs> that is still a thing for her. I totally <laughs> forgot about that. Wow! <sighs> <laughs> No. 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 Morello in the bathtub. Holy shit, this, this girl is crazy. crazy. Can I have one of those? Get the fuck out of here. Our cigarette, oh, cigarette is gone. Fucking piece of shit. Like all of them. It's not the worst thing that'll happen to that kid. One of my favorite scenes was that conversation when I'm giving up my daughter. Just a beautiful, complicated, fully emotional scene. This is my decision. I want you to have her. I want her to have a shot at something normal. The moment when we were in court with Tasty and it just went quiet. We, the jury, find the defendant, Tasha Jefferson. And we just watch her receive the news that She's been found guilty. She will be spending the rest of her life in prison. That will really stay with me. It was hard. Fuck! It's OK. You didn't want to cry, but you did. I feel like, as a society, we disconnect ourselves so much from our problems and things that are going on, especially when it's not really directly affecting us. And I think the beauty of this show is to show you how much it does affect you. When we lost Pusey, one of the most poignant moments of the entire series. I think that's something that still stands out for me. In that scene, I just remember Danny doing that take after take. It's just remarkable. It was just real. It wasn't. It, it, there was something that wasn't acting. It was pretty powerful and very shocking, but these things happen. It was so parallel to stories like Philando Castile or Mike Brown. Poussey's death, I think, changed the show. If you were to kind of sum up the seven seasons about, like, what are we trying to say with these characters and through this story, it is that, yeah, life will deal you some blows, but if you can learn to laugh at it, mm -hmm. then, yeah, you can find happiness. <laughs> The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean place. So you wind up in prison and everybody's up in your face. I don't care how tough you are, the world will beat you to your knees. You lay down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. Nobody's gonna hit you harder than life. Not a guard, not a gangster, not even your wife. We gonna open up a booth so you can sit and mourn for your lost youth. I hope you enjoy my original piece. It was a tasty delight. Thank you. And I bid you all a good night. <laughs> this is the end, for real. We made a lot of history with this show, but that is always a collaborative thing that would not have happened if it weren't for Genji's vision. Hey. Be careful. Promise me, OK? I promise. And cut. Right. We've really created a family here, and that's really hard to let go. And we forget that this is a business of gypsies, and everyone moves on because, you know, we, we, we had a good group. <laughs> what I'm going to miss most about the show, I know it's the people. I'm going to miss that. There's just someone just like you in the show, and, and the way that all these characters go on all these different paths. <laughs> The behind the scenes, silly antics that we do in the hallway, you know, or in between takes. Like we all didn't know what this was going to turn into and the magic that was created just purely off trying to tell great stories. That I think is very rare in this business, so I'm definitely going to miss 
getting to share it with such unique spirits. I don't really have uh, the eloquence that I wish I had, but I'm gonna write you something. <laughs> Most of us had never done this before, so that growing together experience, learning together, that will never be again. When you go through fire with someone, you can only get burned once. This is like you've been with these women through thick and thin through seven years, and that is a long time. Everything evolves, nothing stays the same. So, and we all evolved beautifully, I think. I'm so proud of this show. This has been a true gift and an honor to work with every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, life imitates art and art imitates life. And this show, that's exactly what it is. It was, it was hard shooting this just to, like, that's who we are. I tried so ugly. Thank you. To the fans of the show, we feel and see you and hear you. And your support for us has been immense and has changed our lives forever. You've been so supportive and so wonderful and so loyal. So thank you so much. This is the worst idea ever. <laughs> we wept the other day in a way that was was not cute. It was grown-up weeping. I think it was a little cute. This show, because of its content, because of the people involved, I have given myself a license to be more and more myself, and I'm very grateful to the fans. I'm still figuring out how to be famous. <laughs> if you weren't watching, we would not be here. So thank you for changing my life. What a ride. Genji, thank you. Thank you. So it comes full circle. There's the final. Goodbye. I don't think I believe in goodbyes. Once you've met someone, that impression is with you always. We'll all be back together again. We have a soapbox in this show, and every year we talk about how we want to use it. To give up that platform when it reaches such a diverse audience is very hard. Look, we've, we've been together a really long time. Let's try to stay in each other's lives because this is a special <laughs> Thank you.